a powerful, actually very powerful, cancer-fighting substance derived from onions. There's two reasons I'm doing this one, publishing this one particular study. Number one, this is something so simple, it'll be a little scary. You can manufacture the substance in your own kitchen, but until then, best just to get it from onions or talk to your oncologist. Number two, it's in regard to ovarian cancer, which tends not to get as much attention as other forms of cancer. However, the substance from onions, otherwise known as onionin A, can be useful, in a, useful, I should say, in a variety of different cancers, and you'll understand why in a second. Let's go right into the research as published. Anti-cancer effect found a natural compound derived from onions, otherwise known as onion in A, onion with an I-N and then an A. And what this research discovered was as follows. They wanted, well, basically wanted to investigate whether this O-N-A for short had a therapeutic anti-ovarian cancer effect using in vitro and in vivo studies, meaning petri dish uh, test tube, as well as animals or living organisms. They found that ONA, substance from onions, reduced the extent of ovarian cancer, and it was quite dramatic. And also, this would make your oncologist happy too, just to give you a little bit of a prelude, it also reduced chemo resistance down, which is a major boom because you reduce side effects and it has as also not requiring as much as these fairly toxic medications uh, require. But let's go right into citation title. Onionin A inhibits ovarian cancer regression by suppressing cancer cell proliferation and the protuber function of macrophages published in scientific reports uh, this October 2016. Study parameters are all online, so you can research it on your own. Full public meaning it's more than just the abstract. It's methods, methodology, you know, length of the study, the whole lineup, it's all there for you. Funding, you could see. Study participants, we went through. Study length, you can obviously see. Source, now this is kind of cool, check this out. This is the extraction and isolation of onion A. If you look at it, it says they, this is what they did. Fresh peeled onion bulbs were roughly chopped and blended in a mixture along with acetone, blah, 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 and you can go on until they go down to the DMSO part. Yeah, I know you're thinking acetone, ugh, but regardless of that, it worked in regard to the study. The results, which were just astounding. The research showed that ONA reduced the progression of malignant ovarian cancer tumors by interfering with the pro-tumor uh, function of myeloid cells. ONA appears to activate anti-tumor responses by nullifying the immunosuppressive function of the myeloid cells. Kind of technical, but in the bottom line, it works. ONA has the potential to enhance existing anti-cancer drugs, which makes your oncologist happy if the studies pan out, while also having little to no cytotoxic effects on normal cells. Onions, we've been eating onions for a long period of time. Additionally, side effects in animals have not been seen. With a little more testing, this is their words, remember it's quoting from the research, an oral onion supplement, otherwise onionin A supplement, should greatly benefit cancer patients. And as a side note, this is what they said, so you don't have to have some special uh, delivery method, so to say. ONA, this onion compound, is orally available, uh, is in orally available, sorry, small molecule that may be an effective adjuvant therapy for patients with advanced EOC which was basically the statement from the researchers themselves. Something simple, something inexpensive, yet highly effective, and seems to work better with chemo drugs or on its own. So, in short, whoop, this is what they came up with. ONA is considered useful for the additional treatment of patients with ovarian cancer, owing to its suppression of the pro-tumor activation of something known as TAM, tumor-associated macrophages and direct cytotoxicity against the cancer cells. And I'm also gonna post here the chemo drugs that they use this onion compound in conjunction with in case you're, uh, any oncologists out there are actually interested. So onion, powerful cancer fighter, validated. In this study, they happen to do with ovarian cancer, but it may work for other forms of cancer as well. Something simple, something inexpensive, yet highly, highly effective. I hope you find this information useful. Of course, this is Ralph Turk channel signing off, and I'll see you all once again in seven days. And as always, thank you very much, very much for listening. Catch you next time.